Hi, welcome back to the channel. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to ask you, please subscribe to the channel, okay? Just hit that subscribe button. Even if you don't want to watch me anymore after this, you can just ignore me and never watch me again. But you'd be doing me a massive favor, thank you. Okay, I want to talk about uh, Eddie Hall versus uh, Thor Beyonce and the, the up and coming boxing match. Now, you must have seen it, uh, you know, uh, to being advertised, if I could say that properly. <laughs> Advertise. And um, yeah, it's really exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, let's be honest, neither neither of them are going to make uh, the uh, World Heavyweight Boxing Champion. But it is going to be an interesting watch. But what I've been following is their training regime. Now, let's just have a look at Eddie Hall's training compared to Thor's training. And you can see this, it's quite a stark comparison. Hello, Thor. <laughs> Hello. You're gonna get up. You ain't seen nothing! You better be working hard, boy, because I'm going to slap you f***ing silly, and you know it. Are you going to pull out the fight? I can see it as well, because you are just a Things don't go your way, you are a Calling it now, you're pulling out, boy. All eyes on As you can see, so Eddie is really training hard and he looks pretty sharp. Um, is he perfect? No, <laughs> his boxing finesse is a little bit off, but he's, hit, he's hitting quite hard. He's quite fast for his size, um, you know, uh, and he's training well. If you look at a lot of his, the, the training in the clips, he's punching high up. He's punching up high um, and also in the other ones, he's punching to the body. So he's training to fight a taller person. Um, so let's just, that's Eddie Hall, let's have a, just have a look at Thor's clips. So as you can see, Hathor's uh, a little bit more slow, a little bit heavier, a little bit cumbersome. You know, even his punches don't look that heavy. Um, just really slow and just, meh, just going through the motions, no footwork. Uh, there's not a lot of training footage of him, let's be honest. And I don't know what you guys think, and let me know in the comments. Do you think he is using some type of tactics? So he's not showing his full training because um, 
at the moment it looks like Eddie Hall is streets ahead, streets ahead, uh, and he, he'd smash his face in at the moment, but um, from the clips we've seen, but is Hathor playing a game? Is he um, doing, the, you know, what these sometimes, they don't want to release the footage of them really training, just to give, um, just to mess with Eddie's head a little bit, you know, if Eddie thinks, well, look at him, he's rubbish, and then gets in the ring, and Hathor goes in like a bullet at the gate. Um, and like I said, look, neither of these guys are going to win a boxing world championship. And I think um, the fight uh, is going to be wild in the first round. And Eddie Hall could score a knockdown in the first round if he comes out, you know, throwing some wild punches, some haymakers. Um, and if they connect, he's a hard puncher. But if Hathor can get through the first round, he may, you know, uh, just protect himself a little bit and get through the first round. He may be able to land a few punches on Eddie Hall, you know, in the second or third round. But I think after a couple of rounds, these guys, they're big guys. And, you know, uh, to carry that weight around in the ring when you're, when you're not a trained boxer, you know, even if even even if they lose a little bit of weight, they're still going to be coming in, like around about twenty five stone. Around about there, if not heavier, half or probably heavier again, maybe twenty eight stone. They're going to come in really heavy guys, even though they've dropped weight. They're big, huge fellas, and they're gonna they're gonna blow out within a round, I reckon. And then the, then the next rounds are going to be like. <laughs> You, you've seen it, haven't you? It's, it's like the 12th round of a heavyweight title. Not so much, though. The heavyweights tend to be a bit fitter. But I remember years ago, you get to the 12th round of a heavyweight fight and it's it, they're just holding on and clinging to each other. And this possibly could could be what will happen in the fight, you know, in the uh, in the later stages. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. And again, you guys let me know. I'm sure you're going to correct me. Some guys, <laughs> the last one I did, the last video I did, my God, you know nothing about boxing. I've been following boxing for, for 30 years, okay? And I've done martial arts and I used to box. I do know a little bit. I'm not an expert on it, don't get me wrong, okay? Um, so everyone's got their own opinion. Some people think a certain, certain fighter is better than what they are and vice versa. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, okay? You know, insulting comments like, you know nothing about boxing, it's the worst video you've ever seen, the worst video. I'm like, what? <laughs> Some people get so irate about these things. Calm down, chill your beans. It's just an opinion. Everyone's entitled to that opinion, okay? Whether it's wrong or right in your opinion, okay? I, you know, and, and that's the way I see it. Anyway, uh, you guys let me know what you think about the training footage you've seen. Is Thor playing a game? Is it like with part of his cunning plan? I have a cunning plan. <laughs> okay, just let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Oh,